D, wait for it. Wait for it. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So I'm going to be breaking down and reviewing the latest episode of The Bad Batch, the Star Wars episodes. Um, I have to say, sorry, this is coming to you late, uh, so late again, just because uh, I I have to go to work. I'm sorry. I have a nine to five job, uh, probably just like you do. So I can't, uh, you know, I was going to do it in the morning, but then I had to go in early, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So this episode wasn't too bad um i just feel like again like it's not here's the thing when it this name this show is called the bad batch right so in this episode we're gonna we're gonna flip back and forth from the empire and what's going on with building up the empire and the bad batch and i have to be honest with you the whole time watching it i was more interested in what was going on between the empire and and I didn't really care what was going on between the Bad Batch. Like, I was just like, okay, can we hurry up and along and everything? So, so that's ba- my overall thoughts of the episode. So why don't we go ahead and get started and break down this episode? So it starts off, they are on their ship and they are just traveling through space and they, uh, you know, um, what's his face? Gosh, I can't remember all their names, but he's handing out food, rations. And he gives one to Blockhead here. Oh, he gives one to uh, uh, Omega. I remember her name. And then Blockhead and Blockhead's all like, hit me with another one. And, uh, and uh, she's all like, you can have mine. Cause he's all like, we need to, we need to save our rations and everything. Cause I'm running out of food kind of thing. <clears throat> and then he pulls him aside and he's like, Hey, she's a child. You know, you should let her eat food and everything. He's all like, and he's like, yeah, you're right. Kind of thing. And he's all like, Hey, sorry, kid. Yeah. I'm not really hungry. I'm all full and everything. So then uh, fives and uh, the smart one, I can't remember his name. It doesn't matter. I kind of like him, but he's kind of a dick um they're on the ship and he's all like hey uh the lights are going out and then this the fives is all like you know if i had some help and everything and then the smart one's all like i'm working on this uh inhibitor chip thingy or whatever to to detect in uh chips that have gone bad and he's like plus i did a overall diagnostic and there were no main systems that were offline or whatever i can't remember the exact word usage don't quote me on any of this and don't get mad at me if i get it wrong calm it down so then they end up crash landing on a moon and so while they're doing that uh you know they get in their little holster things and uh and uh they're freaking out and everything but they land on the moon And then so they're trying to figure out what's going on. And what happened was there was like a flux capacitor that was broken and they had to to replace it, but they only had one on board. So then uh, Omega is going through this ship and all this stuff and she pulls out a case and it's um, the the sharpshooter, the bad sharpshooter guy's name. I don't remember his name. Calm it down. Sorry, I didn't memorize all their names and I don't have their names in front of me. I will next episode, okay? So then uh, they're like, that's that sharpshooter's case and everything. It's it's so hard to not seem uh, to not seem here kind of thing. And then we transfer over to sharpshooter and he is getting tested and everything over at the Camino um, labs or whatnot. And he's all like, she's all like, oh, he's, you know, doing great or whatnot. And then this new guy comes in, this guy right here. <clears throat> he comes in and we're like, we're not going to use clones, sir. We are going to get new troops and they're going to be better than ever. And so, you know, the Caminos are like, I don't like this kind of thing. So they take, he takes them into this room where we, he's in, we're introduced to the new, um, like squad or whatever, like this, this fun squad or whatnot. And uh, he's all like, you know, soldiers, they'll, they'll, these are the people we're going to place with the clones. So then smart one and fives, they go outside and they, are going to replace the flux capacitor. And I say flux capacitor because I don't remember what it's called. Anyways, so they're, and then they have to wear these breathing masks while they're out there because they're on a moon or whatnot. And so they're, uh, Fives is holding the flashlight. Smart guy is is fixing it, but he hears something. So he turns around and he's all like, what was that? And so he's walking through this moon. He's checking stuff out and everything. And then uh, Fives or a smart guy replaces it. But then he's like, hey, smart guy, come here. And he goes and, and does it as he does it this lizard creature comes and takes out the flux capacitor. And they're all like, hey, a lizard took out the flux capacitor. So um, while they're doing that, um, 
big guy right here, Lughead, is all like, oh, my head hurts. I must have hit it when I, um, when I, um, when we were landing. And uh, I think there's something going on with his inhibitor chip. I do not see him surviving this season, this slash this show. Um, I don't know if any of them are going to survive. Maybe Omega will, like, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I might, I might be wrong or whatnot. But I don't think Lughead here, or whatever his name, Wreck, Wrecker, Wrecker is going to survive. So he's like, Wrecker, you stay here. I'm going to go track this thing down and get our flux capacitor back. And then Omega's like, I can go with. And he's all like, no. And she's like, no, I can go with. I can help you and everything. <clears throat> so then flash over to these new um, stormtroopers, the new army. And they're basically talking or whatnot. And um, this one, he's all like, you know, the Republic never did anything for me kind of thing. And he's all like, it's, you know, kind of like maybe the Empire will kind of thing. And they're watching them and stuff. And then this Camino guy, he's all like, uh, why don't we send them on a mission? Why don't you go have them do what the Bad Batch couldn't do and go take out Saul Guerrero's group on that planet or whatnot? So then uh, back to the moon, um, leader guy is tracking the uh, iguana, lizard moon iguana. And he's all like, you know, we all have special traits tracking is mine and she's all like maybe i could learn a special trait or whatever she says it doesn't matter i don't really like the character of omega i i find her very kind kind of kind of annoying like most kids in shows i find annoying and i really don't like the tracker guy either the leader guy he kind of they're all annoying a little bit i don't know anyways we'll see okay so in this new troops, uh, they're all like, why they, this one's all like, why'd they put a clone in charge? We could do this kind of thing. He's like, they put me in charge because I'm a good soldier or whatever. He says, I don't remember. Who cares? Anyways, so they get to the planet and here's Saul Guerrero's group, not Saul Guerrero. And they're loading up this ship. And they're all like, oh, somebody's coming. So then they get ready and they like form battle lines. And then we shoot back over to the moon. So we're on the moon. And he sees the flux capacitor. So they go over to get the flux capacitor and the lizard pops out and he takes off um, leader guy's uh, mask. And he's all like, oh, can't breathe and everything. So he passes out and then Omega puts the mask back on and everything. So then she's all like, I got to go get this flux capacitor from this lizard. So she goes after him. And then we flip back over to uh, Saul Guerrero's group being taken out by the, the, the stormtroopers. So they're fighting and they're like, do, 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 and everything. <laughs> That's the way you make laser sounds. It's not pew, 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 and everything. So they're fighting and whatnot. This pilot gets in and then, um, you know, they're throwing flames and everything, all this stuff. And then sharpshooter, bad batch guy, he shoots the pilot and uh, they go down. And uh, they get out and they're like, and he's all, they're all like, where is Saul Guerrero? And she's all like, I don't know. But even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. And so he shoots her. And then you've got all these innocents over here. And they're like, do you know where Saul Guerrero is? And they're like, no, we don't know because uh, we're just here to for transport. And he's like, they're no good for us. Shoot them. And then this guy right here, the blonde guy, is all like, no, we're not going to shoot him. That's not what we're supposed to do we're just supposed to be you know soldiers and he's like a good soldier follows orders and everything so then he ends up shooting that guy and the rest of them he's all like do you guys want to follow me or do you want to end up like your friend or whatever follow out the mission so then they he and they kill all of the uh those uh innocent people that were just basically civilians so then omega is going through the tunnels and she finds this little lizard's lair or whatnot and she finds the flux capacitor. So then she turns over and there's the lizard, but he's attracted to, oh, and then a uh, leader guy wakes up, but he, the, she holds up the gun because she's going to shoot the lizard, but the lizard is only attracted because it eats energy. That's its whole thing. It eats energy. So he's attracted to her flashlight. She realizes that. So she's all like, oh, all I got to do is turn the flashlight. And then she throws it. And the lizard goes for the flashlight and she takes the flux, flux capacitor and she goes outside and she's all like, hey, leader dude, um, I've got the flux capacitor. And he's all like, oh, hey, good for you, kind of thing. So then we go back to Grand Moff Tarkin. And this guy, I don't remember his name. I was hoping to be somebody like Piet or whatever, somebody that's from the Star Wars universe, but it's not, which is fine. It's like, whatever, I don't care. Anyways, and they get off of the ship and he's all like, uh, 
your your group seems to be minus one. <laughs> Ooh. A little bit on there. And so he's all like, uh, there's, there, you know, those casualties in war kind of thing. Um, and so he's all like, you're doing good, Admiral. He calls him Admiral. So he gets a promotion. So then the Caminos are talking and they're all like, what are we going to do? They, we have to protect ourselves because they don't want clones. And the clones, Django Fett is, uh, that DNA is getting like saturated. Like we're just using it too much. We don't have the original one. So we're just having to use duplicates of the duplicate of the duplicate. So then they're trying to figure out what's going on and everything. I like that shot of that guy. So then a sharpshooter guy goes into the quarters that used to be the Bad Batch and he sees the line of like, you know, time missions they've had or whatnot. And he sits down and he's like thinking or whatnot. And so the Bad Batch, they put their little flux capacitor in, they get in and, and uh, uh, what's his face right here? Uh, Lughead, uh, Wrecker. Wrecker, I think that's his name. He's like, hey, Omega, I've got something to show you and everything. And so he takes her in the back and he shows her that he set up a little area that's her room now. And uh, she's like, I've never had my own room. And that's where it ends. She gets her own room on the ship and he's all like, she's like, well, I am part of the squad or whatnot. And I have to say, like I said before, this entire episode, I've been more um, uh, fascinated with what's going on with the Empire than I am with the Bad Batch. And I feel like the show is called The Bad Batch and you should put, but I also feel like this is the, kind of like a filler episode, um, kind of like last week's. I didn't dislike it, but it's not, it's not that great. Like, I wish it was like the first episode where I was like fully invested and I want to see what happens next, but not these two. I'm just, and then this one, I'm just like, it was not, like the moon lizard thing was just like, I'm just like, oh gosh, who cares? Uh, just get your flux capacitor back. Let's do this and everything. So overall, I'd give this episode a good a solid six or seven. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like overwhelmingly great. So that is my breakdown and review of this episode. Tell me, what did you guys think about this episode? Did you like this episode? Did you not like this episode? What was your favorite part? Who is your favorite member of the Bad Batch? What was your uh, uh, favorite scene from this episode? Are you like me and you're interested more in the um, Empire than the Bad Batch uh, as of right now? Um, yeah, and go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're new to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys next week um, on my Bad Batch review. You guys have a good week. Bye.